Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about body cavities. What are cavities? Cavities are spaces in the body in which nothing is supposed to be in that area, in those space, they're supposed to be empty. But the reason we're reviewing this is because fluids such as blood and air can accumulate in those areas and we need to learn about them. So there are two main body cavities and that would be the dorsal body cavity and the ventral body cavities. So looking at the lateral view right here, we can see the dorsal body cavity is further divided into the cranial cavity and the vertebral cavity. All right, under the cranial cavity, we can see that um, it contains the brain. And when we're looking at an interior view, we can also see it here. And in the lateral view, we're able to see the vertebral cavity a little bit more. Um, and this contains the spinal cord, not the vertebral column. Remember, it's just a space. Um, and it contains the spinal cord. And then the second part of the body cavity will be the ventral body cavity, which is further divided into thoracic and the abdominal pelvic cavity. All right, so the thoracic cavity will mainly contain the heart and the lungs. And again, we can see looking at the lateral view, we cannot see the rest of the subdivisions of the thoracic cavity. Rather, we'll be able to see the details more on the interior view. So the thoracic cavity is further divided into superior mediastinum, in which we can see organs such as the thymus, which is an endocrine gland. We'll be reviewing them later on. And then we can see the pleural cavity. This is where the lungs are going to be located. And then we can see a little bit right here with the heart me located medially to the lungs and a unique thing about the thoracic and the abdominal pelvic cavity is the diaphragm this is how you can differentiate which part of the body especially the ventral body cavity is thoracic and which one is abdominal cavity through the diaphragm. The diaphragm is what we use to separate. It's a demarcation line that we use to know whether we're in the thoracic area or we are in the abdominal area. So on in the abdominal cavity, obviously we're going to have abdominal organs like the stomach, the intestines in there. Most of them will be digestive organs. And then when we move on to the pelvic cavity, we're going to have organs such as the bladder, reproductive organs, and the rectum. So the reason why I wanted to zoom in in the thoracic cavity so that you can actually see the pericardial cavity, this brown structure right here, um, and then you can also see the pleural cavity. The pleural cavity is in between or sandwiched between the parietal pleura. The parietal pleura will always be the outer layer of the pleural cavity while the pleural cavity is inside. And then the innermost layer will be the visceral. So when you hear the word visceral, another word for visceral will be organ. So that will be the layer directly on the organ, regardless of where you, whether you're looking at the lungs or whether you're looking at the heart. So again, we can see here the outer layer of the of the heart cavity will be the pericard will be the parietal pericardium, and then the Visceral pericardium will be the innermost layer with the pericardial cavity sandwiched in between the middle layer. And again, we can see the diaphragm right here separating the thoracic cavity from the abdominal cavity. So now I just want to show you what a posterior, um, I mean, an inferior view of the transverse section looks like, right? Right here, we can see the heart located here. We see the pericardial cavity here. We see the lungs and all the structures. And again, we can see the pleural cavity. We can, we're going to see the right pleural cavity and the left pleural cavity right here. 
So again, here we can see the lateral view, the diaphragm dividing the body into superior and inferior portion. So that concludes the end of our review of the body cavities. Thank you. Bye.